Hello and welcome back to another video about the building system tutorial. Today we're gonna take a look on to the release snapping um, of the foundation and yeah let's start with it. The la in the last video we just created the snapping system so when we have our foundation it snaps to each other the foundations and uh, yeah, the problem is it doesn't release uh, when you're just moving the mouse uh, away from the foundation. So that's what we're gonna do today and for this we need to go in the foundation and take a look onto it. That's the old one. Okay. So, when we are snapping we want to to do, do to do something like um, actually we ask if it is snapping or if it is snapped we have to do something so actually this is uh, release the snapping ability let's call it uh, let's call it like this and for this we need to know something like uh, the position of our mouse when we snap um, our foundation and when we move our our mouse away from the current um, current position we want to release it so actually let's say um, we want we are moving like 20 pixels with our mouse um, it's just getting released something like this and unity has a function for this and this is called um uh, so we can take the the position of the mouse and we have to do this firstly we have to to know what the position is when the the foundation is snapping so actually we need to know um what the float number of our mouse position is so mouse posy x and the, we need to know the the mouse position of this one and when we are snapping in our foundation collider box we need to know um yeah we we have to save it so um we need we need our foundation script uh, let me save this in a function now otherwise we have way too much get component um calls this isn't uh, the best thing otherwise you have yeah, probably later with more get component calls uh, some performance uh, problems so we call it once and then we call the script From here we can just call foundation. Okay, and now <coughs> we need to give um, give our foundation script the position of the mouse when it's snapped. And we can do this with this. Get axis mouse x and foundation mouse and this is more or less it all uh, so this is all for the uh, for the for the snapping part so that we know what position we have and now we need to go back to the snapping part and ask here um yeah Firstly, um, the the foundation uh, needs to be not placed actually, otherwise we release a placed uh, release uh, release a placed um, foundation, and then we ask need to ask um, if there is a difference now between the old position and the current position. And we do with this with this. So actually now we ask the current position of it. Now this is just a number. This is uh, the pixel numbers. If there's uh, if there's something between 0 0.5 uh, two pixels, we need to, uh, it's just getting moved in the x-axis. Uh, so it's getting released, and we need the same for for, other, for the other axis. So And then we only need to know is uh, need to say uh, uh, snapped is tr uh, is false, and then it should be released. Let's check. 
second. Try it. It snaps, and when I move now, it's getting released. See, it works, and I can place it, and I can place another one when I want. Oops. Sometimes it's bugging around. But okay, this is uh, how it works now. And yeah, the next video will be about the Billy helpers, which you saw in the introduction video, where the green um, the green boxes are fading uh, fading out and fading in sometimes, so that you know where you can place some some of these um, the foundations. This will be the next video. See you till then. Um, I would like uh, to thank you and would be happy about a Facebook like or a Twitter follow. Bye-bye.